Sacktown, what is going on? Sacktown Pete, back at it again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. How are we feeling about tonight's game? The Sacramento Kings, a lot of, a lot to talk about tonight because they were out with their head coach, Alvin Gentry. He was ruled out. He got tested positive for COVID. Um, Doug Christie, the news broke that he will be taking over for, as the head coach duties to, for tonight's game. And Doug Christie did a fantastic job. He made some adjustments, and I'll talk about that. Final score for tonight from the Golden One, 119-105. to 105. The Sacramento Kings went on to beat the Washington Wizards. This was the first 9 out of 10 games that will be the next uh, majority of the games will be home games. And the Kings defended their home court tonight. Uh, Doug Christie did a fantastic job of uh, head coaching tonight. Um, Davion Mitchell got his first NBA career start. I'm happy for Davion Mitchell. Shout out to Davion Mitchell. Um, did not disappoint tonight. Um, he was hyped because he started, and he played really well. Um, Doug Christie actually went with the three the three guard line that we've been all been raving and talking about this whole season with Fox Halliburton and uh, Mitchell starting alongside with Harrison Barnes and Alex Lynn tonight, who started for Rashad Holmes, who's missing his fourth game uh, due to the um, injury, the right eye injury. Hopefully, we will see him soon. A um, couple things I do want to mention that Marvin Bagley was also ruled out. He was put into health and safety protocols as well as with guard uh, Terrence Davis. So we got Gentry testing positive. Swish coach a speedy recovery. Uh, very unfortunate to hear that this morning. Um, and uh, wishing Bagley and Terrence Davis a speedy recovery as well because they both of them have been put to uh, into health and safety protocols, which sucks, but it is what it is. It's life. Um, and that's what's going on currently in the league. So it's not just happening to us. It's everything, every team that's dealing with it around the league right now. So with that being said, let's talk about the numbers, man. I like what I saw offensively and defensively from this team tonight. Tyrese Halliburton in 36 minutes, he had eight points, eight rebounds, nine assists. Uh, Harrison Barnes in 32 minutes tonight, 19 points, five boards, three assists. 15 of Harrison Barnes' 19 points overall for the game were in the fourth quarter. He was big time in the fourth quarter. Um, De'Aaron Fox, in 31 minutes tonight, he had 28 points, four boards, four assists. Swiper came through big time tonight. He had a very good basketball game. Um, Davion Mitchell, in 29 minutes at the start, he got he had 13 points, two rebounds, uh, five assists, uh, six 13 overall from the field. Uh, Davion just brought the defensive intensity early on in the game, and I think that's a big reason why he started because of his defensive presence. It was great to see Davion Mitchell start tonight. Um, just got done watching his post game interview, uh, and he was happy. You know, he was really happy. He told his family, his parent, uh, his mom, that he was going to start tonight. And uh, I'm happy for him, man. I'm happy for the family as well. It was great to see Davion start, and he deserves it. And moving forward, I tweeted this out in the game. Hey, Davion Mitchell should be considering starting for the rest of the season. We got nothing to lose. You might just get him more comfortable and get him more court time, get him more reps on the court. It's only going to boost his confidence even further, and it's going to help his game out tremendously moving forward as well. Um, I would love to see Davion Mitchell start the next game as well, uh, Friday night against the Memphis Grizzlies. Um, just go with what we have, uh, Doug Christie and the coaching staff, because we know that Alvin Gentry is going to miss some time. And I'm hoping that Doug rolls this out. He rolls this out the same starting five for the next game moving forward. And uh, Alex Lynn tonight. In 20 minutes, he had uh, six points, six boards, uh, two assists. Solid work. He had. Uh, he also had a block as well, and he's three of four from the field. Solid work by Alex Lynn. He's done a fantastic job of filling in, uh, providing some uh, some solid play. You know, and replacing Rashad Holmes, who was out with the injury. Uh, the bench looks fantastic. We had three players in double figures tonight off the bench. Uh, Buddy Hield in 29 minutes, he had 15 points, one board, one assist. Maurice Harkless in 21 minutes tonight. He had two points, zero rebounds, one assist. Tristan Thompson in 21 minutes. I like what I saw from Tristan uh, Double T Thompson tonight. 15 points, four boards, zero assists, six of seven for overall from the field. I can live with that. That's great to uh, see that when Tristan Thompson has it going like that. Jemezi Matu, 17 minutes tonight. He had 13 points, seven boards, zero assists. Chemezi Metsu stepped up because we knew that we were going to be short and thin on the front line because of Bagley being out. And it was it, he got to them 17 minutes tonight, um, especially with Terrence Davis and Bagley both being out. Uh, definitely took advantage of that tonight. So shout out to Chemezi for taking advantage of that and staying ready and being solid. Being solid in the 17 minutes that he got. 
Damian Jones in four minutes, he had zero points, two boards, zero assists. And, uh, yeah, I got to give credit where it's due, man. Doug Christie uh, did a fantastic job tonight. You know, defensively, uh, it looked a lot. things looked a lot better because they got the stops when they needed the stops. And they did give up 105 points, but you could live with that. They didn't give up 120. They didn't give up 130 points tonight. You know, they gave up what they gave up. But the most important thing is that they put up 119 and they won the game. So, with that being said, um, you know, it's uh, it was a quiet day today, obviously from the trades perspective, because there's been a lot of rumors about, oh, this team's engaging in talks, or this team's interested in that player. Uh, nothing really happened. And not just for the Sacramento Kings, but overall around the league. There was just hasn't been any talk or any current trade discussions going on that have been made public. So, um, with that being said, I do expect uh, talks to do to you know pick up eventually at some point uh the coming days um it's still clear that this uh, roster uh needs some addition additional help um and uh, we'll see what monty mcnair and staff can do to upgrade and improve this roster right now with this win tonight we're 12 and 17 and we're 10th place currently in the western conference yes guys we are currently 10th place in the western conference with this record so what I want to see moving forward, I want to see the same similar style of play. I want to see the three-guard lineup start. Um, I want to see Fox go ham in attack mode. I want to see Davion play tremendous, fantastic basketball offensively and you know, play continue to play the great defense that he's playing. Um, I want to see more players getting double figures off the bench. You know, as soon as we get TD back and we get Bagley back, it's only going to benefit and help us and just boost our bench uh, moving forward. But... Uh, the bench continue. They have to continue to step up and play big off the bench. The players that are coming off the bench, you know, they got to continue to give that effort that they gave tonight and uh, play really well. Um, guys, this team potentially uh, a lot of home cooking, home home games coming up. A lot of home cooking, a lot of opportunity. I can't elaborate that enough. We have a chance to really, really ca- play catch up ball. And considering the fact that the next nine out of ten games are at home. This team is put in position to, to freak. It's there for the taking. It's there to get back and and have pick up momentum, especially by defending your home court. Um, I want to see this team obviously win and thrive, man. And uh, it's good to get a feeling. To, it's good to get that uh, win tonight because winning cures everything. It hasn't been that pretty or it hasn't been that fantastic the last three games, especially with that road trip. That was horrendous. And this team. Really played good tonight, and they got to keep it up. They got to keep pushing forward. They got to get back in the hunt. I mean, if the season ended today, they would make the play-in game. But I don't want that. I don't want a play-in game. I want to be in the top eight. You know, I want to be in the top eight. It's there for the taking, man. The Western Conference is not as it once was, uh, you know, last season or the year before. This is The Western Conference has been down, and the Sacramento Kings, they're doing the Sacramento Kings the favor to freaking play catch-up and get in the hunt. So, uh, what I expect moving forward, I, um, I expect this team to definitely play catch up ball. A lot of games, home games coming up, they definitely have the chance and opportunity to play catch up ball, make their record better, um, feed off this win, you know, build it, get you into the next game and continue to, uh, keep it up the, the good basketball play that they did like tonight. So with that being said, let me know your guys thoughts on tonight's game. Uh, would love to hear from you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It would help out the channel tremendously. And uh, it's it's just good to get a, a win, guys. Like the last week has not been the best week. Uh, it's just been uh, the way they, they this team has lost um, the two out of the three games. Actually, you know what? All three games because that uh, last Friday's game was terrible. Uh, it was just terrible uh, the way. Uh, the game was played and the way they how it finished out should I say and then obviously we know what happened in Cleveland and we knew what happened um, in uh, Toronto on it's Monday so uh, let me know your guys thoughts yeah sound off in the comments uh, looking forward to it so that's gonna do it for me for today's video thank you guys so much for tuning in really do appreciate it love you guys take care God bless keep pushing forward um, have a great night and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace